Over the past centuries, people have tried to understand how the world around us works. If once people had difficulty discovering the laws of classical physics. In the 21st century, scientists solve more difficult problems. During this process, we gain more and more knowledge, and opportunities to look into the most mysterious places of our solar system. I propose to go on a journey through our system, and explore some of the most interesting and fascinating objects in our system. For the emergence and survival of life, a combination of many factors is required. The main ones being, the presence of liquid water, an energy source, and a certain variety of chemicals. In the solar system, other objects, in addition to the Earth, have such characteristics, one of which is undeniably Mars, which is researched over the past decades. However, the chances of finding life, if not only on the red planet, but also outside its orbit. Let's take a closer look at the next planet from the Sun, namely Jupiter. At first sight, it may seem that Jupiter can have something in common with life. But it's not that simple, let's take a closer look. Jupiter has the strongest magnetic field among the planets of the solar system, it has a length of up to 7 million kilometers towards the Sun. For comparison, the radius of our Earth is 6,000 kilometers. Despite having a mass of 317 Earth masses, Jupiter is the fastest planet in the solar system. It takes only 10 hours to make a complete revolution around its axis, but at the same time about 12 years to complete a revolution around the Sun. Jupiter plays a very important role in our solar system, it protects our planet from comets and asteroids. With the help of its gravitational force it changes their orbits, preventing them from reaching the Earth. Especially Jupiter stands out for its red spot, which has existed for a very long time, it is one of the most interesting objects. This spot reaches a very impressive size that it would fit about three Earths. Scientists using data from NASA's infrared telescope have found that the region's atmosphere is about 1,300 degrees Celsius hotter than the average upper atmospheric temperature of the rest of the planet, which is about 626 degrees Celsius. In addition, methane, ammonia, sulfur and nitrogen compounds, as well as water ice were found in the atmosphere of Jupiter. Despite the variety of chemical compounds, the probability of finding at least some life on Jupiter itself is extremely small. The absence of a solid surface, high temperature, and extreme pressure in the bowels of the gas giant do not leave a chance for the existence of biological life on it. However, Jupiter has an extensive system of moons. Jupiter's four most famous moons are, Europa, Io, Callisto, and Ganymede, were discovered by Galileo Galilei back in 1609. They are among the largest moons of the solar system, approaching the size of the Moon or Mercury. It is also assumed that during its existence Jupiter has accumulated a huge amount of thermal energy and now gives it more than it receives from the Sun. Therefore, the gas giant, instead of with its moons, can be compared with the solar system in miniature. At first sight, Jupiter's moons look very attractive from the point of view of the search for life. They are far from the Sun, covered with ice and do not have a dense atmosphere, however, a closer research reveals amazing facts. With a high degree of probability, all four moons hide liquid internal oceans under the ice crust. Calculations show that such oceans can maintain conditions acceptable for life. A thick ice crust on the surface not only protects from solar radiation and meteorites, but also serves as good thermal insulation, so the conditions for the emergence and preservation of life can be observed inside these moons. The most massive celestial body in the vicinity of Jupiter is Ganymede. Of all the moons of the solar system, it has not only the largest dimensions, but also the most similar to a real planet. The radius of Ganymede is 8% greater than that of Mercury. The mass of this celestial body is two times heavier than the moon. It is the only satellite in our system that has a liquid metal core and its own magnetosphere. The average surface temperature of this moon is 110 kelvins, and the core can be heated up to 1500 kelvins. Studies of the magnetic field of Ganymede suggested that a multi-level salty ocean could be discovered under the Moon's ice crust. The number of layers in it can reach up to four. Moreover, each of them consists of water with different salinity, density and temperature. In addition to a huge amount of water ice, carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, salts of sulfuric acid, as well as some organic substances were found on the surface of Ganymede. The next no less attractive moon for life is Callisto. This moon is the second largest and most distant from Jupiter. Under the Callisto ice crust, 
which is 80 to 150 kilometers thick, there is a high probability that there is a salty ocean with a large amount of ammonia and other substances. Its depth, according to various estimates, can be from 50 to 300 kilometers, and the temperature, according to most models, is about 251 Kelvin. Due to impurities and high pressure, water remains liquid under such conditions. The surface of Kallist is heavily pitted with craters. Analysis of this moon showed the presence of not only water ice, but also ammonia, carbon dioxide, sulfur, iron and magnesium compounds, as well as talons, complex organic polymers containing nitrogen. Unfortunately, too far away from Jupiter does not allow the moon to warm up more, since the tidal effect of the gas giant is not enough to deform the moon, moreover, most of the celestial body is ice, and for the appearance of life, contact with solid rocks is required, so how they saturate the water with different elements. A small variety of chemical compounds and low temperature greatly reduce the chances of the origin of life on this moon. But this possibility cannot be completely ruled out. The most promising for the search for extraterrestrial life is Europa, the smallest of the Galilean satellites of Jupiter. The dimensions of this satellite are only slightly inferior to the Moon. The temperature at the equator of this celestial body is 110 kelvins. Europa is in Jupiter's tidal hold and is always turned to one side, but its rotation is not perfectly synchronized, which may mean that the surface of Europa is separated from the core by a liquid layer. Jupiter has a strong influence on Europa, causing powerful tidal waves in its hidden ocean, thereby heating the satellite even more due to the force of internal friction. Calculations show that the temperature inside Europe is warm enough for the presence of liquid water, and its volume can exceed twice the world's oceans of the Earth. The thickness of the ice crust can be from 10 to 30 kilometers, but the surface of the satellite is covered with long and deep cracks. Spectral analysis of Europe shows the presence of compounds of magnesium, sulfur, iron, as well as hydrogen peroxide and strong acids. All this testifies to the rich mineral diversity of the satellite's hydrosphere. Calculations show that the oxygen content in the oceans of Europe can be sufficient to support single-celled life, in this case, underwater volcanoes serve as a source of energy and nutrients, saturating the water with sulfur and iron oxides. In any case, there are many species on Earth that can exist in the ocean of Europe, including not only bacteria that are resistant to extreme conditions, but also multicellular ones, such as tardigrades. Therefore, it cannot be ruled out that primitive life may exist in the bowels of Europe. Despite the close interest in Jupiter and its satellites, they have so far been studied only by stations flying by, they have never been landed on, at present the gas giant and its satellites are being studied using the Juno Automatic Station. The data collected by Juno will be extremely important for understanding the processes occurring in the system of Jupiter and its satellites. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoy the video. Do not forget to subscribe and press the like button.